So now that we're into the shoes, I actually have $300 worth of shoes just in my hands here. And we have a lot more sales right here on my lap. We have like a ton of 50 plus dollar um, sales in shoes this weekend. So yay, let me show you. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, AKA Lily Works, and I am a part-time reseller of mostly shoes and jewelry and accessories. And I am a full-time stay-at-home homeschooling mom where I do reselling to supplement my income. I am making money so that I can stay home with my kids. And we have some weekend orders going out. It is actually another over $1,000 weekend so yay that makes me so happy as a part-time reseller to be able to sell at least a thousand dollars in a weekend so let's go pull all these orders okay so here are all the orders going out we have a ton of orders going out for jewelry then the shoes are what really push it over the top this week so i'm excited to show you guys the shoes next here is a big bundle sale. This sale, I think, was like 130 altogether or something. And it's three sets of jewelry. So this person is, I think, a dealer, I believe, in Texas. And she um, uh, bought three different sets of jewelry. And a couple of these you might recognize from when I went to the antique store and I was just so excited. There was a display um, that like spun around all the little shelves spun around like this and I was just so giddy. <laughs> and so two of these pieces actually came from that one display. So this is like a 1950s enamel brooch and clip-on earring set. This one sold for $30.00. And I paid $6.40 um, at the antique store. This one was like my favorite. Let's take a peek. Ready? You guys might recognize it. I packed it in this box because it is very delicate. Okay, so this is like this bone china, um, what is it called? Uh, Royal Crown Derby set. So it is marked Royal Crown Derby on the back. Um, is it on the back of this one? But very, very, very delicate. Look at how beautifully hand painted. Oh, <laughs> you can see I wrote on my hand because I was measuring a belt today and I didn't have paper. Ah, that's just how it goes. Okay, so there's this set. I'm going to have to pack these up so well. And yeah, this is really, really pretty. And go ahead and watch that video. It's like a, a recent like antique with me video that I just uploaded, I don't know, maybe a month ago or less. Then this is the last piece. Oh, I forgot that that set sell, sold for $75 and I paid $12 at the antique store. Then this set was really cute cool not cute really neat it is like different um, tones of wood and it is a brooch and earring set again so she must like brooches and earrings and it kind of looks really modernist doesn't it um, this one I got in a shop goodwill lot for about a dollar and this one sold for $26 so for all of these pieces Either she sent me an offer or I sent her an offer and she accepted. I combined the shipping and sent her an invoice with the discounted shipping. And these are all going out. Okay, <laughs> this one. I'm really glad this sold. This actually sold for $20, uh, these earrings. There's no maker. They're just hook, double hoop, and then like a moon glow cat eye, um, and then pink faux pearl. So I just listed these because they're pretty and these actually sold on Facebook Marketplace. Now you guys might be like, well, Rachel, didn't you stop listing on Facebook Marketplace? Yes, I did. I did. And then 
uh, I still have some old listings on there. And so just randomly one came through because usually on Facebook Marketplace, the only things that get attention are things that have been recently listed. And if it goes stale, you know, after a couple weeks, usually it doesn't sell for me at least. And so this has been on for like six months and somehow somebody found it, bought it for 20 bucks. I paid 364 shipping, making my earnings 1636 and I got it in a shop good a lot. Here's another one. It is just a magnetic leather band with like rhinestones, no maker's mark, sold for $12 on Mercari. I paid shipping, making my earnings 825. This one I picked up at an antique store for $5 and it is because I wanted to learn more about like morning jewelry that uh, morning as in jewelry that women wore while they were in mourning from some a death in a family and a lot of times that is black jewelry and there's like different stones like French jet onyx and different materials made from petrified woods and like lava and things like that and I could not figure out what this was I just put plastic <laughs> question mark in the title I could not figure it out so anyways this sold for $24 after shipping I paid $20 and three cents and I got it for five dollars Okay, these I got in a shop Goodwill lot. They are just marked chaps on the inside. These are just some semi-precious stones with the tiger's eye, possibly onyx, um, maybe abalone. These sold for $12 on Poshmark. I got those in a shop Goodwill lot. The same lot, I think it was like a semi-precious gemstone shop Goodwill lot. I also got this beauty this is a red jasper sterling silver and turquoise layered necklace you guys can see in the picture it is absolutely stunning love it i did have to put on a new clasp because there was none and i the only one i had was not sterling silver but i did disclose that and this sold on Poshmark for $75 and I paid less than a dollar in a shop good a lot. Okay, this one also came in a shop good a lot. It is been in my store for a really long time. It is marked on the back. Let's see. It's marked Beatrix. This is just a green enameled leprechaun hat sold on Poshmark for 10 and like I said, I got it in a shop good a lot. Okay, so jewelry sales like this make me so happy because these are kind of like filler items, but filler items can add up. So these are two um, pairs of studs that are unbranded and just one of those things that you list fast, you put in keywords, don't research it for too long. That's one one thing I, I need to tell you guys. If it, a lot of this thing, a lot of the jewelry that we're selling are costume jewelry, unless there's like a name on it um, things are cold or they are genuine, genuine like stone, glass. Mostly just start describing things. Feminine, faux pearl, rose, clear rhinestone stud, like dainty, whatever. And then this one can be like yellow, citrine tone. Citrine is a yellow gemstone, but these are just fake um, rhinestones pierced and then you just uh just don't spend too much time thinking oh but what if i have something that's thirty dollars what if i have something that was sold at such and such i mean you could spend a lot of time um dwelling on that and thinking about that but time is money and a lot of jewelry you're just not putting a lot of time in and you're just listing it and that's why google lens is your friend you'll be able to find out quickly, okay, these are not popping up as anything, but I, there are some similar things that are popping up. It just says, like I said, dainty, feminine, faux, faux pearl, cluster, ceramic, rose, rhinestone, whatever. So those are going to give you some keywords to put in your own title, you know, and then you move on from there. All right. So anyways, these 
two sold together in a bundle for $18 on Posh. And I paid around two, less than $2 for those in a shop good a lot. This one is really pretty. Again, not marked. I feel like most of the things are not marked uh, that I sell. So this is like a Lariat or Bolo um, slider bracelet. And these two pieces hang down. One is longer, one is shorter. And one of them has a crystal on it, which makes it a little bit unique. So I did put trendy in the title. Anything that is something that I wouldn't wear <laughs> that I think is trendier than I am, I always put trendy in the title. And then anything that I would wear, I'm always like boho, <laughs> bohemian. Uh, that's just, that's just what I've been uh, doing. Anyways, $17.99 on Goodwill and I paid less than a dollar for that. This one is a new old stock Monet necklace. It does say $19.99. Uh, there's Monet. And it is just a faux pearl multi-strand necklace with this little pendant drop. If you guys um, are newer to selling jewelry, you don't need to be less than the old stock price. That was a price, you know, maybe from like the 90s. And... That doesn't really apply anymore. Like the demand for Monet has gone up a little bit. And um, yeah, so don't let uh, past prices deter you. And collectors don't really, that doesn't really apply either. So sold for $28. And I got that one in a shop good a lot. These I just listed. I just got these in my most recent shop good a lot. These are like a tiger's eye. And a like a silver tone filigree teardrop earring. These sold for $13 on eBay. And I got them in a shop good a lot for less than a dollar. This little cute charm. Blue enamel Cinderella um, carriage. This I also got in a shop good a lot on the bottom. It is marked Disney. Disney things do sell. This sold for $13.00 and pay less than a dollar. This one I got from one of my viewers, Patchwork, from one of her Whatnot shows. If you guys are not um, out there sourcing on Whatnot, you can definitely go ahead and click my link down below. I It will give you $10 to spend wherever you want. Um, you know, try it out, try out Whatnot. It's linked in my description below. If you clicked on, um, I think, more, it will drop down and you'll see different links to um, different sites that I use, different items I use, and then definitely the whatnot. Um, but anyways, I've sourced from different people that are my viewers. And these this one was an Avon bracelet, like a charm bracelet. I picked it up from Patchwork Vintage for $2, I believe. And... I got it because it was Avon, but it's actually really saturated. I thought that this might be like a nice collectible, but actually a lot of people thought it would be a really nice collectible and they all listed it. So this one only sold for $7.99, but still making money on eBay. And again, yay, Avon. <laughs> um, and again, I got that from Whatnot. This one I got from Shop Goodwill. This is just a simple bolo not too crazy but it did sell for $13 I really do enjoy selling bolos especially if they are marked on the back or sterling silver the buyer paid 13 on eBay and I got that for less than a dollar in shop Goodwill this one you guys I just got in a jewelry jar I believe and it is a fully encrusted rhinestone and little faux seed pearl um, hair barrette says made in France right there and it is that like root beer lucite color and this one sold for $17.99 on eBay and I paid less than 50 cents. This is my second Napier bracelet that I've sold. Um, this one sold for $19.99. It is just really simple. It has like a 
um, chain underneath instead of a cord or stretch or anything. It is a chain, so nicer quality. Silver tone beads, $19.99, and they got it in a shop good a lot. This one is new old stock Avon, and it's still on this little tiny card. A lot of times these cards came um, in gifts or in a box, and now it's just on this simple card. But sold for $10 on eBay, and I got that one in a shop good a lot. And lastly, this one came in a shop good a lot. It is an Ann Taylor Loft necklace. It is so pretty, though. Even though it's um, Ann Taylor Loft, I actually think it's really, really nice quality. It has a really good weight to it. Um, and it is double-sided. So, super pretty. I'm glad this one sold. These rhinestones right here are so blingy and very beautiful. $19.99 and I got it in a shop good a lot. All right, so I'm going to put my earnings for jewelry up on the screen and we can go grab some other items. So now that we're into the shoes, I actually have $300 worth of shoes just in my hands here and we have a lot more sales right here on my lap. We have like a ton of 50 plus dollar um, sales in shoes this weekend. So yay, let me show you. Okay, so we have some good ones going out. We have the Harley Davidson. We have Free People. We have Born and uh, Fly London. So a lot of Bolo brands are going out from this weekend. You guys might know, I love, love, love picking up Harley Davidson. These I picked up for $14.99 at Salvation Army Thrift Store. Yeah, so that was a good deal for these. These actually have branding on every single piece of hardware. So that's where you know, this is, these are some quality boots. There's the Harley Davidson Motorcycle Shield brand and I don't know how long you guys have been watching my channel, but one of some in one of my like beginner videos about a year ago, I actually talked to you guys about the Harley Davidson Museum that we have here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, that and I showed you guys a little bit of a tour there because yes, Harley Davidson is huge, huge, huge in. Wisconsin, so I find a lot of Harley Davidson things, and these boots sold for $85 on eBay. Next are these Nike shocks. These I uh, don't really know a ton about, and I don't pick up sneakers too often. So I I just I just don't. And if I do find something that's a little bit more unique that have like these shocks or something, I will just do a Google lens really quick in the store. And then, um, yeah, so these sold for $44. I got them at Goodwill for $12.99. So I did pay a little bit more for some of these pairs of shoes, but I got a pretty good return as well. Okay, again... Paid up $14.99, but guess what? These sold for $130. These are some free people, beautiful lace up boots. These are like the boots of my dreams, but these are a smaller size. Yeah, six. But aren't they gorgeous? Oh, like just so many things of beauty right there. That is totally my style. Okay, so. Yeah, they sold for $130 and I paid $14.99. These I also got at Salvation Army. These are also gorgeous. And these sold for $79.99. These are Born, one of my favorite, favorite brands to sell. There we go. Um, and they have the Born logo right there on the side. This has more of like an equestrian type of, kind of like a horse bit detail right there and right there at the top distressed gorgeous i picked them up for 8.99 and they sold on ebay okay look at these whimsical shoes right i got them at the goodwill bins for probably around a dollar or two because it's based off of weight and this is by the brand blay b-l-a-y which i think might be sold at j crew what does it say 
Other Souls, 37 and a half, made in Spain. Aren't they cute little whimsical treasures? <laughs> and like, this is like all um, stitch detail. So pretty. Um, the reason I picked these up is because I had had some boots that were in this brand that sold really fast for a good profit. So when I found this brand again, I was like, oh, I know that brand. Uh, no, it, these have been two years maybe in my, sh in my store. And I finally took a best offer of $15 and on eBay and they are going out, but aren't they so pretty? Okay. These, you guys might know that I just picked these up for $6.99 at Goodwill. These are these toning, exercise, walking shoes. These are by the brand MBT. So I think this is my third time selling this brand. And uh, this was a good pickup because the, these shoes sold for $55 on Poshmark and I paid $6.99. All right. Let's talk about these Fly London boots that I picked up at the bins. Bins are by weight, so I paid around $2 for these Fly London boots. If you see this sole, um, but when I picked these up and I got them home and I was about to list them, I realized that one of these laces were missing and one was still there. So I went on, I, I measured that lace, it was 30 inches, went on Amazon, bought two pairs of laces for $6, making my total cost for these shoes to be $5. And I sold them for $55 on Poshmark. So $5 to 55, and people probably left these. Let, if, if you guys don't know, being a busy stay-at-home mom, I kind of like pick what other resellers leave or like leftovers, I guess, and kind of show you what can sell um, better, bread and butter, what are bolo. So um, these are definitely a bolo brand, but they needed to order the lace. So that was not even a big deal. Comes right to my house. Easy peasy. Okay. These I just got in my new with tags box or new without tags. If you guys have seen, I have two unboxing videos now. I have one that's the booties, which is my first video. And then my next one was all like tall boots like this. And I have some hanging up there, one right there. Um, <laughs> I have some up there right above me, those red raspberry red ones. So my co average cost of goods when I picked up these booties was actually $16.20 per pair. And these sold on Poshmark for $60. So this is my second pair that have sold from that box. And I think I still have 10 pairs left from that booty box. So um, I think we're almost breaking even for that box. And we're going to start making some profit on that. So that is really exciting. And if you guys haven't seen that video, go ahead and check that out. It is the new without tags outlet unboxing. It is a new like source for getting shoes that have either been returns or they're new without tags from like places like Nordstrom or Bloomingdale's. So I will make sure to put my total for shoes up on the screen. This weekend has been just a great shoe weekend. Yay. And we can go grab belts and accessories. Okay. We have three belts and a scarf. So I haven't picked up scarves in a very long time. So I don't know. I'm just not feeling the whole scarves because you have to measure the whole length. And you know me, I don't like measuring clothes, so, and scarves are definitely not as bad as clothes, but belts and shoes and jewelry, those are so easy to measure. Anyways, this is a Firenze scarf, so Italian, and it is 100% linen. There we go, 100% linen. And it is a colorful, light, beautiful Scarf. I picked it up at Goodwill for $2.99 and it sold on eBay for $22.
This one, okay, this is an Ariat belt, which sold for $33 on Posh, which is, you know, it's a nice um, sale right there. I got this at a Goodwill boutique. The whole store was Goodwill boutique, and it's called Retique in um, Milwaukee, and nowhere <laughs> on the outside of the building does it say Goodwill. And so we went into this thrift store that was called Retique, and I'm like noticing that their tags looked exactly like Goodwill's tags. And so I'm like, oh, and everything was very priced up. It's very boutique-y, feels very similar to like, I don't know, like anthropology. A lot of things were just really curated. So um, my mom and I were just shopping there at more of an, an experience, and I was trying to find things to flip. This belt was one of them, and this belt I did pay up for, but I knew I could make at least a little bit of money on it, and I did. Paid $12.99 for this Ariat blingy belt. Ariat shoes definitely are another bolo brand. Um, this sold for $33 on Posh, and I paid $12.99. This is a belt, another, like, well, I guess they're not mistakes. They're, they're learning experiences, right? Um, and if you're out and about and you see something you can flip to make your experience profitable, then I don't see any harm in that. But this was a belt I picked up while we we're on vacation in the mid part of Wisconsin. I paid $2 for this belt. It is Tommy Hilfiger. I made that, the mistake I made is that I didn't realize that it is faux leather. If it was, if I knew or realized at the time that it was faux leather, I probably wouldn't have picked it up because I just don't really like picking up faux leather belts unless they are like really um, unique or like laser cut, western, something stands out about them. But this one just only has like some red and blue threads. So this finally sold on Poshmark for $15 and I paid $2. This Gap belt, I love selling Gap. Gap always sells for me. Like I think I have one Gap belt left in my store and it sells pretty quickly. So um, this Gap belt sold for $16 on eBay and I got this one at the bins for less than 50 cents and it is just a classic casual black leather like jeans belt women's belt so I will put my earnings for belts and accessories up on the screen and yeah I'm gonna go grab I'm gonna go get packing all right you guys I'm gonna give you a little update on last week's drama I will uh, try to let you guys know I did get a review she got her hat it was the lady who basically um, thought I was being like hostile towards her <laughs> and let me pull it up so there we go two stars I got two stars at least it's not one um, I like what could improve item cleanliness seller responsiveness, packaging, and ship time. Okay, item cleanliness, that thing was like perfect. Seller responsiveness, thought it was pretty positive. Packaging, thought packaging was good. I um, did it in a poly mailer, poly mailer wrapped in um, the packing paper with a card, and the hat itself is also in a clear bag, so there was that. Ship time, like I said, you ship after the weekend. All right. So her comments are, I hope gratefulness cross, I hope gratefulness cross your mind, but it doesn't seem so. Guys, make sure you're out there thrifting so you can live generously. <laughs> let's, let's throw a positive spin. Go out there and thrift so you can live generously, you guys. Um, yes, that is the weekly reminder for you guys. But anyways, I am so thankful for all these sales that I'm going to be packaging up. I hope you guys are having a great week. Um, I am either really close to getting uh, a thousand subscribers or I've gotten a thousand subscribers 
by the time this video comes out so yay um also this weekend i wanted to update you guys a little bit about gideon's surgery he had it this weekend and so i was like editing videos and listing while we spent a lot of time in the hospital um, we had overnight and he is doing great the only thing is that we need to settle him he is a one-year-old that just had surgery so we have to make sure he settles so he could heal because he wants to like be going and going and going all right so i will post pictures and things like that oh also go check out my instagram um my instagram is linked down below i do have a really cute video of gideon beatboxing after surgery so go ahead and follow me on instagram if you're not already following go ahead and like this video if you liked this video and content like it hit that subscribe button leave a comment down below and i will see you guys next week make sure you're out there lifting thrifting lifting <laughs> make sure you're out there thrifting so you can live generously bye guys